Hey everyone, this is the Beta Zeno, and I know what you're thinking. Uh, this isn't the Hot Toys Princess Leia or a Sand Trooper review. What are you doing? You said you would do those two weeks ago. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> been real busy, and in my off days, I've just been kind of like, ugh. But I supposedly have three off days in a row. Probably not, so I'll probably get to tomorrow, today and tomorrow. But today I wanted to film just a couple of short reviews. I'll do the Hot Toys reviews tomorrow because those take a lot of work, a lot of editing. I'm going to do basically one shot reviews here, basically on NECA. Black Series, Legends, all that stuff. And you're probably wondering what this is. This is a model kit. A Bandai Star Wars 1 12th scale, so it's 6 inches. The First Order Stormtrooper model kit. Yes, model kit. But this isn't an aesthetic statue or anything. This ends up making an actual fucking action figure that works. <laughs> what? <laughs> Blows my damn mind. It really does. And this is super simple to do too, and this is my new plastic crack. Yeah, like before it was like NECA, I love doing, you know, collecting NECA stuff, I still do, but you know, and then Hot Toys was like, oh, I gotta get every Hot Toys, this is just so amazing, this blows my mind. This is amazing. I'm gonna be buying every single one of these that I can get my hands on now because they are fantastic. First thing you're gonna be greeted with is the instruction manual. Uh, you're really, really gonna wanna do this. Read everything carefully. As you see, there's a the little parts right there. Because it comes on sprue trees. Yes, sprue trees. It is a model kit. Look at this. All the parts to the action figure are inside of here. That is crazy. Like this, this was the base. Which, right here, here's the base. You had to clip that out and then you had to build it. That's crazy. And there's so many different intricate parts in here. And you also have stickers that you have to put on. I put these actual stickers on. But you also have water slide decals, which uh, I'm probably never going to be able to master. So to... With this particular build, stickers actually ended up looking great with the way I placed them on. I was just very careful with tweezers and shit like that. So, yeah. So, yeah, like the box, very unassuming whatsoever. But the actual result is fantastic. Go ahead and pan down. As you see, I already showed you the base. It comes with this little part that should pop in, which actually really holds the figure very well. I'll show you that in a second. And a little clipper here that you stick on one of these four sides right here. And that'll allow you to clip it to another uh, base for a model kit, which is cool. Accessories-wise, uh, you get... A, this is basically like a mini Hot Toys figure, not gonna lie. You get a shield right here, which you can actually see through. So you look at that, look at that. You can see the base. Look at, that, look at that, that is so cool. There's an actual part that you have to you know, clip out and pop in there, that is so cool. You can't do that with the fucking um, Black Series version. That is just, that is crazy. And we will do a straight comparison with the Black Series version here in a second. Here is the um, Riot Stick, or the Wappity Stick. Um, sad thing is, this guy holds it just about as well as the Black Series version, so uh, not well at all. And... You also get a wide array of hands, so I'm so wide, wide array, which is basically the same kind that you get with the Hot Toys figures. <laughs> Not many these days. Um, that is a sticker that you see on top of both those right there, those little white decals. I added those. That's just the fists. There is no white decals for the open palm or a trigger finger, which sucks. Trigger finger, you actually have to, it's three separate parts. The thumb there thing you take out, and then that's the part. Like, you have to build these hands. That's crazy. <laughs> And here is the, the right trigger finger, which is attached to the gun, which I recommend you just leave it attached to the gun. And you're going to see that this gun is not fully painted yet. I haven't got the time to actually paint this, so, sorry. It would be nice if they actually molded it in the right parts and you could actually put it together, but I think it would be a little too delicate for that. But what's cool is you can make this gun into two different guns. you got just the regular um, blaster that you can do right here without the stock. Or the one that comes with, like, officers and shit and, like, snow troopers. That has the butt, which is so cool. So like you literally do whatever you want to, and it just pops on like that. That's really neat. <laughs> and that's two separate pieces too, right there. Like everything you got to build, which is just fantastic. And uh, let's put a fist on this guy for right now, just to show you what it looks like. Here is the model kit. It's an actual working action figure. This is crazy. This, this is crazy. Look at, look at the fucking bend on that elbow, man. Look at that. 
Look at that. Look at that. This is... The this really just helps you get a greater appreciation for action figures and how they're made, especially like for how intricate this foot is. Just to get that rocker right there in the ankle. That is just so crazy. <laughs> I did accidentally clip the top of this. You can't really notice, but I did accidentally clip that off. Uh, can this gun even have? Oh, yeah, I can. Let me. There we go. It's so, like you can actually store the gun on his holster. I hadn't tried that before. So, you know, there you go. Uh, that's a decal. That's a decal. <laughs> uh, that's a decal. 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 Yeah, put a lot of stickers on this guy. Not even lying. That's a decal. That's a decal. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it was painstakingly meticulous. But once you get it done, it's actually really nice. And this guy goes in some very fantastic poses. Like, you do just about anything you want to do with this guy. Which is just crazy. So, let me show you how this base works real quick. Basically, you just clip the foot in. See? So it's stuck on there. And you can do just about anything. Oh, well, too much weight back there. <laughs> but, like, look at that. You can get some seriously dynamic poses with this. Oh, I went way too high. Well, you can get him like running. Look at that. Look at that. You can't do that with any other figure. It's all because of this base. That is just, oh, it's so cool. I love this base. The hands come out kind of too easy. Not gonna lie. Uh, they're just stuck in there with like a little peg and they're just held in there with friction. There's no like little ball point on the end or anything. Just go in here. But, you know, that works out fine. The elbows actually shift like that. Uh, be careful, one of these I accidentally malformed when I was putting it back on. I think it's the side. Yeah, so it's a little tough to put back on. Um, that's just because I was, wasn't as careful as I should have been putting it in there. But, yeah, look at that. Look at, the, look at that pose. Look at that. You can't do that with a Black Series figure. Uh, that's just crazy. You can do anything with this guy. And you build this. You fucking build this. Yourself. So that makes it even better because you build this. I mean... <laughs> super articulated. It's not like you're... This is... $35 a big bad toy store. You can get it cheaper anywhere else, but... Pardon me. Um, basically, $30. Let's run down because that might be... Yeah. That's uh, what, uh, so what the rest of the model kits are at Big Bad Toy Store. This one's just kind of marked up. So, $30 for this super articulated figure, and which SH Figure Arts, same company, Bandai, $80 pre-built, and I think this has better articulation than that. It scales better with the Black Series, honestly. So, here's a Black Series figure. Right here, this is a Black Series. At first, me like, oh, well, what's the differences? I can't really tell the differences. Of course, you know the shoulders; you can really immediately tell that. But you know, let's let's see the elbow bends. That's the black series. That's as far as the stock black series will go. That's the model kit. Look at that! Holy shit! <laughs> there is no comparison there. There is no comparison. That is just crazy. Look at that. Look at that. That is just oh, oh. Like like the waist. This guy can uh, bend way. Well, I think the Black Series wins on the waist. Yeah, Black Series wins on the waist. I think maybe. Let's see. Now this guy's got no. Yeah. Okay. Black Series wins there. <laughs> yeah, because that one's a little tight. But that's mainly just the form factor of the actual suit, because this is actually kind of more movie accurate. Movie accurate, there we go. Uh, the pockets, as you can see, basically the same. Uh, definitely more detail on the model kit right here, because it's not sloppily Hasbro painted. Let me pull them off the stand. Bring them up close. There we go. Spread their arms out. 
Look at that. These are decals I put on over here on the right. Those are decals. Those are Hasbro painted. That is just crazy. <laughs> wow. I'm really impressed with this model kit. Really impressed. Let me just look at the back here. And this guy intermixes very well with the Black Series uh, figures. It's like I, I've had him on my display with, um, I think I have four troopers, counting TR8R. And he just looks fantastic in there. So basically, I'm not going to buy any more Black Series troopers. <laughs> I'm just going to be buying more of these and putting these together if I want more um, six inch troopers. In case you're wondering, does this stand work for the Black Series? No, it doesn't. The foot is slightly too small. So, there you go. <laughs> I mean, overall, this guy is kind of bigger than the Black Series. Oh, ooh. Ooh. I'm going to try something real quick. Let's take apart the hand. Let's see if we can get this Black Series pistol inside of there. And I don't think we can. Nah. That ain't gonna work. Black Series pistol is too small. So, it seems like this guy is slightly bigger than a Black Series figure. But, I mean, that's not really a big deal at all. Because troopers are gonna have different height differences and stuff like that. And you can actually, like, bring the, oh, see the legs? Like, they shift up and down. But, see, it's a model kit. <laughs> Parts are going to come off like that, because they're put together like that. Uh, let's see if I get that back on. See? Like, the, the legs, they shift down, so you can even make them taller, if you wanted to. And they shift back up. If you want to make them a little shorter. Elbows come down. Oh god, that looks awful. <laughs> but, like, you can make them, like, a little scrunched up. A little scrawnier. Which is pretty cool. Like, you basically do whatever you want to, and you can adjust the height for these guys anywhere in between here. So you can basically have any trooper that you want and just make all your collection look different, which is awesome. Oh god, that's gotta be like a great pose. Yeah, I'm putting that on the, yep, we're trying this. Oh, come on. No, it's only gonna work with the right foot. Are you kidding me? No. Well. I had something cool going. <laughs> uh, just go ahead and compare the blasters real quick. Uh, I'm going to take that off. Here's the Black Series one. As you can see, it's nice and painted. And here's the um, model kit. So basically, that's all the areas that need to be painted. Excuse the hand on the handle. So the handle's got, definitely got to be painted too. But that's the paint difference. So if you're going to get this guy, that's some of the uh, differences you're going to have to do to get it movie accurate. You know, no big deal. Uh, set that aside. And just to show you how much better this guy can get in a firing pose than the Black Series figure. Alright. And granted, this is a $30 model kit. Black Series are $20. You get the gratification of putting their certification, uh, of putting this together yourself. There we go. I'm trying to do it through viewfinder, it's not working. <laughs> oh, I popped the fucking hand off. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do it back here. That way it's a little easier. Apologize! If I was a good reviewer, I would edit this out. But, you know, as you can tell, I haven't edited out. I'm not a good reviewer. <laughs> Ooh, I'm doing something special. Y'all can you see. There we go. As you can see, he can get the gun up pretty far to his face. Pretty damn far. Ooh, it popped out. There we go. I will say it is a little uh, troublesome to get this grip hand because there is no actual grip hand 
for the gun. But, see, that's as far as he, look at that, that, yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's really awesome. And with the Black Series, there's no contest. I mean, you can kind of fudge it. But look how it looks front on compared to that. Yeah. <laughs> there is no comparison. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, that looks, that looks fine. The Black Series looks perfectly fine from the side. But that is legit. This is not. That is literally as freaking high up as you can get. Like, you can get it above his head. It's like, Ugh, I can't see the scope. But, like, trying to line it up with the eye. That's the best that you can do with the Black Series. That is fantastic. <laughs> Me likey. So yeah, this is a great, great figure. I highly recommend you buy one of these, experiment, try and put them together. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your experience, and that's going to be all for this video. If you have a question, comment, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video.